Hello, I'm Lowell Martin and this is MCC Today. Are you okay today? How many fingers am I holding up? On today's show, we have Ms. Leanne Motes, Ms. Cher Warren, and Ms. Laura Reinstadler. You're going to learn a lot about the college and some of the classes we teach. Stay tuned. Not essential. Never let anyone tell you that again. Never doubt your abilities to make a difference. How do I know this about you? Because I'm a teacher. I am the one who will push you harder and farther than you could have ever imagined. Teach you things that you never thought possible. And if you will give me 100%, then I will stand shoulder to shoulder with you, and together we will change your future. MCC, find your wings. And we have the wonderful Leanne Motes today. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, we're here, and it's just <laughs> great, great to be alive. It is. It really it, is. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you are the, a, a Campus Life Coordinator and you work with student engagement yes. as well. And so what exactly do you do on, on campus? I know you do a lot, I see you doing a lot. I do. But what exactly are your responsibilities? Uh, coordinate events so that students can be more involved. Because okay. we know that more student engagement we have, the better they're gonna do in classes and in the future. They make a lot of friends. So uh, I set up events um, like homecoming, my college cares, different things that the kids can get involved in. And then I run the Quay Student Life Center, which is yeah. an amazing building. Oh my gosh, it is that amazing. That was provided from uh, one of our alumni. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I supervise that and work with people in the community to where that we can uh, get together and work together and make a positive impact. That's a big responsibility. And you've been doing it. I've How been long doing now? Four and a half years four and now, and, and doing I it. such a wonderful it. job well, of it. Like you. I said, every time I see you, I see you all. You're all over doing <laughs> doing stuff. And yeah, there's no so telling what I might be doing. <laughs> but you specifically, we're we're here today to talk about a couple of things. Yes. The first is my college cares. My college okay, cares. and what exactly is my college cares? My college cares is a day of service where we cancel classes and we close the college. Our faculty and staff are team captains and they supervise our students who sign up for a specific location. Mm -hmm. um, it does need to be within Lauderdale County, but it, it can be any business, any church, you know, any type of um, uh, like charity, any, mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, this year, well, we had to do it virtually last year, what we right. called virtual, which was a little bit different. We're going to try, and I'm going to stress try, to get back into it this year uh, as a one-day event and, and really make the biggest impact we can. It's going to be October the 21st. Right, okay. And now, what day um, of the week is that? Isn't it it's Thursday? on a Thursday. Thursday, okay. It's on a Thursday. And it's, it's down towards in the fall if mm -hmm. people are able to have fall festivals and uh, different things like that that we can help set up or pack or, or do. We can do anything. We've done mm -hmm. planning, painting, cleaning, sorting. Reading to children. Reading to children, yes. cleaning school buses. Uh, manicures at nursing homes, playing bingo with the, the residents. That's our biggest request is our elderly people want the interaction. Of course, And some of our musical groups go yes, to some yes. of the nursing uh, homes The Dimensions as well. go and sing, mm -hmm. and Mitch Brantley goes, and they do the guitar uh, uh, ensemble. Wonderful. I know, it's wonderful. Um, so there's probably going to be some restrictions. Sure. But we, right at this point, I am working on getting people locations that would mm -hmm. like for us to come and serve signed up. I have, if you've been on our list in the past, I have contacted you and, and we've made arrangements. If there's anybody else in the community that could use our services, like I said, for pretty much anything, the only thing we don't do is we don't provide paint or plants or sure. tools, but sure. we can give you all the labor that you would need. Right, okay, good. Uh, generally speaking, from 8 to 12 in the morning, we can work on that if it needs to be something a little bit more specific. So we're talking, we're talking pretty much from 8 to 12 mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Thursday, October 21st. Yes. So if someone needs something, if they need some labor, laborers mm -hmm. to do something, they can contact you, and how would they contact you? They, would, uh, they can call me at 601-484-8632 uh, and email me at smotes1 meridian, at meridiancc.edu. Okay. Now let me give you, uh, let me just ask, 
what's the the time limit? Because you know you they can't call you on the twentieth of October, no, and you know no, so it takes you a really lot of need planning. yeah you really need a couple of weeks. My initial goal notice, right? is going to be September the third. Okay. Um, if I can get everything uh, lined up, and, and, and I'm sending out emails to people. So when they call or they email me, I specifically will need their email mm -hmm. so that I can communicate with them. Is we're gonna have a, a link where they can go fill out a very simple form that just tells us where, what, when, how many, uh, and you can be creative. One of the things, I was a little bit concerned about our nursing homes, because mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be really, really hard, especially in October with this situation with the COVID, but one, director suggested that we decorate the outside of their windows like with static idea. clings for for fall or or something or and that way they have something to, or put possibly put birdhouses okay. or, or something out something that we do outside that will benefit them and i thought that was a really a ingenious thought so that really is a good be idea be creative um if you're just really not sure if it's something we can do just call me I'll be more than happy to work it out with you, mm -hmm. but uh, we, we do. We are asking for people to call us if they'd like to have our services. And you know how n near and dear my college cares is to me because yes. I always captain the uh, Random Acts of Kindness mm -hmm. team, where we uh, get donations for the homeless. Yes. And so you know it has made such an impact on my life. I know it has made such an impact on because uh, we go through Love's Kitchen a lot mm -hmm. you know, with those. I talked donations. with Miss Fanny the other day, and she's very much looking forward to. Our collections. So I can't, you know, I just can't wait. I'm hoping, just, just let's please hope that that things are okay for us to do it this year. I really yeah. hope so. And I'm not saying that virtually wasn't, you know, it, it, we had to do what we had to do. It worked pretty year. good. People it did had to work do pretty five well. hours yes. uh, and, and, and of their choice, they had right. a longer time to do it. We had about 75, which really wasn't bad for the right. situation. Sure, so, sure. Yeah. Now we also, students uh, who participate can also take it's a class yes. called the self-affirmation class and get a credit hour for it. They've, credit a few hour things, on their transfer. A few things that they have to do, uh, uh, and I think we're going to have it set up where they can self-enroll, and uh, uh, then they once they complete everything, they'll get an hour's credit for right. that. Right, and it's transferable. It'll and go it on their transfer. It is transferable. Uh, you can earn it as long as you have never earned it before. We can okay. only issue it one time. Of course, anybody's welcome to volunteer. Right. But as far as the earning the credit, right. uh, will be for people that have not earned it previously. Okay. Now, in addition to My College Cares, we've got something else coming up, which is a blood drive. Yes. Right. And okay. And what is what is that about? Uh, well, we're going to have about, Mississippi but... Blood Services, <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi Blood Services on campus, August twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Okay. From ten to three thirty. Okay. Um, they're going to have two buses. There shouldn't be any waiting. They will be taking care of all of the uh, social distancing. Uh, you, we do encourage everyone to wear a mask. Okay. Um, you, we take walk-ins. Appointments are better. Okay. okay. Especially with this COVID situation. Sure. So if you could go to meridiancc.edu/blood, and you can set up an appointment. It won't take long. Bring your ID. Eat a little bite before you come. And you just never know whose life you may impact because there, there's so many. How long does it many... typically take for someone? I would say to, about 40 minutes. So give yourself about 40 minutes yeah, yeah. To, to just make sure you have enough time to do what you mm -hmm. need to do. Right. Okay. Uh, that, and okay. Uh, Mississippi Blood is giving $10 Visa gift cards okay. and a t-shirt. Excellent. And then Campus Life is going to have a drawing from all the, a random drawing from all the donors for a $50 gift card to the bookstore. Excellent. So in addition to helping somebody, you, you know, you may win one of those or, or is, benefit from that. Okay, well, uh, excellent. Now, give me those dates again for the blood drive. August 24th and 25th. Okay. It's Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. It'll be our second week of classes. And uh, we're just really excited, really excited to help. And I know that they are in desperate need for blood. Sure. It's yes, been a long summer for them. And well, listen, uh, thank you so much for being here. And I want to have you on again, as always, because you're always such a great guest. But I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. We'll be right back. Since 1996, the MCC Foundation Tuition Guarantee Program has provided students an opportunity to find their potential. Thousands of students have benefited from the program. Over $6 million have been invested in the students who learn and live right here in our community. This program is funded by individuals and businesses who believe in our students, our families, and the economic impact of an education at Meridian Community College. Now is your chance to offer support. Give today at meridiancc.edu slash give. We are back and we have the wonderful Miss Laura Reinstaller. How are you doing today? I'm doing just great, thank and you. And I know how much you love being on the show. Well, 
Um, it is theater. It is theater. Yes. And, you're, and when I asked you to do it, you're such a good friend. You said yes immediately. I did. And so I appreciate that. But you are a theater instructor here at Meridian Community College. You also teach um, uh, your fine art. You teach the art appreciation too. Right. Right. But uh, today we're going to talk about theater. Yes. Uh, uh, so. Uh, You've been here how long? How long have you been here? Well, I taught as an adjunct for six years, and then I taught have taught full time for five years, so oh my eleven goodness. years. Oh my goodness, long time. Yes, long time, and we have been friends. I think pretty much all of that time. The whole time, and and even before, I think when I came down to visit. Um, yes. I think so. So yes. we go way back. We do go way back, yeah. and I'm so appreciative of your of your friendship, but. The, the theater appreciation class, what kind of things do you do in theater appreciation? Well, I, I, um, I show videos of plays, of live plays, okay. and I require my students to see two live plays that kind of has been uh, different because of COVID for sure. the last, gosh, two years now. And, um, but we, we, I, we talk about historical reasons that he, theater has uh, where it came from and mm -hmm. how the cultures have used it in their lives, mm -hmm. how it interacts with the culture, how it affects the culture, how the culture affects theater. Uh, they, they sometimes do group theater. They, they actually uh, build a theater or a plot and do a little little play in it and we all exit the classroom with aching cheeks because we've been laughing so hard. Good. So it's really fun and, and they, uh, they love it. Now they can use theater appreciation for their fine arts credit. Yes. In uh, uh, most four-year degrees, if I'm not mistaken, because you can with most many four-year degrees. Don't let me let me not say most, but many four-year degrees require at least three hours of fine arts. Right. Sometimes six, but at least three. That's and my you understanding. You can use uh, art appreciation, music appreciation, theater appreciation for those credits. Yes. I believe. Yes. Okay. Now, um, what has surprised you the most about your students in theater appreciation? Um, I am surprised at how much they actually enjoy learning about it and how it has fit in through the, the centuries, the eons, uh, and also that they have said in their papers, uh, and just to me, that they really didn't realize how much they enjoyed it when they go see the live productions, that that's something they want to put into their life. Good. Um, theater attendance is not something people think of no. when it comes to entertainment. And here in this area, we actually have a pretty vibrant yes. theater. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have a lot of offerings, mm -hmm. typically, you know, pre-COVID, you know, hopefully, right. I hope it gets back to that very soon. But, uh, uh, but we, there's, there's quite an active theater uh, uh, community yes. here, yes. which I'm, I'm so thankful for. I am, I am just really impressed. Just the arts in general in Mississippi mm -hmm. are astounding to me. So, so varied and so Because you're from Washington, you, you come here from Washington State. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Now, uh, why, why theater? Why should students be involved in, or young people, or anyone mm -hmm. be involved in theater? Okay, uh, for example, a student goes home to his parents or her parents and says, I want to be in theater, I want to take a degree in theater. And okay. the parents freak out and say, sure. you can't make a living sure. from that. What's so, your second choice? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is what we want. Um, this is what we'll pay for. Right. Uh, okay, I've got a list here that I'll read from. Okay. Um, it prepares students or, or people really important for for resolving and solving emergencies because things happen in live theater that can't, oh can't be, uh, I mean, you have to really think on your feet. And so it, it extends into real life when you have something happen. You know sure. where to go or what to do to a certain extent. Um, it builds life skills and I'll, I'll, um, yes. I'll go into that. Uh, students learn how to construct sets, how to um, use construction tools, uh, and so they have a background in construction, and there are many places where they can use that that pay well, mm -hmm. especially in theater and professional and, and even sometimes the regional theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, painting skills, painting sets, painting props, making props, um, 
electronics, electri electricity because of lighting and, and tying in the lights with the computers for the cues, the light yes. cues during the productions. Yes. Same with sound. Yes, same so thing. Say microphones and stuff like that. Uh, yes, that yes. have to work and have to work right at, you know, yes. Absolutely. Okay. And sound effects. Right. Okay. Um, if you have to have a horse trotting outside a window or something, then. Um, yeah, that's I remember a play I was in many years ago, and they kept doing the phone would ring after every time I said hello or who, <laughs> let me get that, and then yep. the phone would ring, and you're like, oh, <laughs> that's the great part of live theater. Yes, yes. Um, I have a very try to make it brief about Peter Pan, and in the beginning, uh, first act of Peter Pan, Peter Pan flies in the window and meets the kids, and looking for his shadow. And uh, then when the parents are out of the room, uh, Peter Pan talks about flying. Well, you, we had a fly system where somebody came out when Peter Pan was hiding from the parents and put a hook on the back of the harness. And for some reason it didn't hook and it went flying up into the gallery. And they didn't think they were gonna be able to re replace it. This was opening night and the university president was in the audience. Okay. And this poor young lady, which Peter Pan is usually uh, uh, played by a young woman, yeah. uh, she had to run around the first act singing, I'm flying. <laughs> That's live theater, and it's, um, uh, it's you never know well, what you're going to find out. They're see. already telling me that we're almost out of time, but oh. I want to ask, I want to ask this before, mm -hmm. we, before we do go is, what has theater meant to you? Well, for one thing, um, I met my husband. <laughs> that yes. was pretty big. I love the collaboration of theater, working with other artists and, and learning how to work with other people. That's a really big deal. Uh, doing promotion work, uh, and I, I sew es esoteric costumes, things that you right. can't rent that are like everything. I actually want us to do a show on your the cost of some of the costumes that you've done and some of the makeup that you've done. Awesome. So I'm gonna invite you back because this was we didn't have enough time to go over everything I wanted to go over, but uh, thank you for being here. I really oh, appreciate it's it. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. We'll be right back. With so much uncertainty in our world, we are thankful for the heart and determination of those who have followed their calling in healthcare. They work tirelessly on the front lines every day to make a true difference in our community. At Meridian Community College, we take pride in training these heroes and are grateful for their service in this time of great need. These eagles found their wings at Meridian Community College. And we have the wonderful Miss Cher Warren with us today, and you are the bookstore manager Correct. here at Meridian Community College. And as we were just talking before the camera, you've been here 23 years. I've been here 24 <laughs> yeah. years, so right, we came yeah. about the same time. But uh, um, how's everything going in the bookstore? Good, good. We're getting lots of new merchandise in I every saw, day. I saw. Yeah, um, great new product. Things that we've never carried before. We've started to um, purchase different things. So, okay. love for everybody to come in. We'll start putting those on our online store as well. So, so uh, uh, you've been doing the online bookstore for a while mm -hmm. now. So, how's everything going? Yeah, everything's going great. Um, it was a huge benefit to uh, have students. Um, have the capability to purchase their books and have them shipped to them. Excellent. Um, especially with COVID, people did not want to come, you know, face to face in the store. It really helped out a lot. Um, we do do we do offer shipping and store pickup. So even if you want to order your books online and don't want to wait in the store, you can do that. We'll we just hand you your bag right when you come in. Wonderful. Um, so there's no line there. Um, so there's different options for people to come in and purchase their books. Now. I, I seem to recall something down, are they able to sell their books back? Yes, we, um, we did team up with um, Nebraska Book Company, which is a used book company, and we offer a buyback year round. So okay. on our website, if you click, um, you go on the main page and you'll click on sell, it says sell your books. You just click on that, you'll put the ISBN number, which is the barcode on the back of the book. Um, you put that number in there, it'll tell you how much your book is worth, and it will give you a label to send your book back, and then they mail you a check. 
Wonderful. It's real simple, um, and it's year round. So okay. we, you know, we used to offer a face to face yeah, just a, yeah. yeah, it was always during exam week. So now we can offer it year round. We were doing so much more. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, we were forced to with COVID, but mm -hmm. you know, there's some beneficial things that have come out of yes. this. Yes, yes. And I think so. When when you said the online, you know, your online store. So you know, you're selling everything, all of the merchandise, mm -hmm. all of the clothing, mm -hmm. all of that online yeah everything most everything is online of course we do have some products that we have not transitioned over yet do you um, plan to eventually eventually or? yes yeah it's it's a very time consuming process just moving that over but anything new that comes in is automatically added to mm -hmm. the store so you'll see a lot of when you click on the the merchandise page and just look at the t-shirts you'll see a little red tab at the top of a picture that says new and those are all the items that just came in so we try to tag everything that way okay. so it, but it's really nice you can pull it up find out if your size is in if it's in different colors you mm -hmm. know put it in your cart you don't have to worry about trying to rush to the store to see if it's going to be there when you get the, you know when sure. you get there or not so well, so, and they're able to purchase it online. Mm -hmm. Are they able, with books and stuff, are they able to use their financial aid? Yes, yes. Okay. So, um, starting August 10th, they can um, purchase online. They There is a on an option that says AR charge, and they just uh, choose that, and we automatically will take it out of their financial aid if they have any available on their account. Okay. If they don't, and there's some mix up there, we reach out to them and tell them to reach out to the financial aid office. And what about when, you know, because a lot of times, especially the first week or so, there's changing classes mm -hmm. sometimes. What happens if they purchase some books, but they're no longer in that class? Yeah. What do they need to do? We still have a return policy. Um, it's the first three weeks of the semester, so they have three weeks to um, change and switch and bring back. Um, the, the good thing, though, with this is that a majority of the general ed classes are ebooks, so True. there's not um, a return policy for that because they um, they don't have anything to return. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, that works out really good. But um, we do have the first three weeks of, of the semester for them to return anything. Well, if they have, uh, if they're returning a book, it should not be if there's if it's mm -hmm. wrapped in plastic. Right. It needs to be. It, it needs to be wrapped to be in plastic. In, right. Okay. It still has to be in the in the condition that they purchased it. Okay. So if they bought it wrapped, it still has to be wrapped. Okay. Do you sell many used books? We do. We don't as much since COVID because sure. we have not had a face-to-face -face, um, buyback. But we do offer some used books. They go really fast. Though. I, I'm just. I was just going to say. Yeah. I remember. I would look for the mm -hmm. used books, and especially the ones that had any kind of writing or notes yeah. in them. Those are the <laughs> those ones are the I best wanted. Ones. Yeah. Those are the ones I wanted. You should, you should charge extra for those. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, give me those. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's <laughs> You've right. You've done some of the work mm -hmm. for me here. Yeah. Any any other changes that you see happening uh, with the bookstore? Anything that you you hope to any plans that you have for anything new this semester hopefully we're going to be you know everything's going to uh -huh. be okay yeah. covid wise we um well other than as you talked about um this week with with me we hope to be able to do a little fashion show in here on mcc today and maybe rotate that through once a month okay. um, that would be something nice to have um but i think just trying to find um a norm nowadays is going to be our biggest um and finally having the the because you had some uh renovations we going did. on that mm -hmm. are finally mm -hmm. finished and so there's a you know yeah that yeah. there was a, a block you could you know i think it was about half of your half store, the store space, was wasn't? blocked off yes and now so it's way it's open all, it's, and yeah and it's great it's so nice in there and roomy if you want to come in and browse we'd love to have you um, to look around. We've got lots of great things coming up. You know, we always do our Christmas open house. Yes. And, um, of course, this year we're doing Candy Cruise again, which was fantastic last year. So we'll talk about all of those things, yes. I'm sure, later. But Well, mm -hmm. I want to thank you for being here today. I'm so excited about all of this. I mean, it, it's it's become so much more convenient, mm -hmm. you know, so it's just, uh, I think it was a good transition. And as yeah. I said, not everything related to COVID is negative. Yes. You know, there have been some very good, mm -hmm. very beneficial things that come out of this. Right, right. But let's hope that, that we're almost seeing the end of this. <laughs> yes, yes, because I do miss seeing people. Oh my goodness, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for yes. being here today. Thank you. We'll be right back. Meridian Community College, for more than 75 years, we've helped students soar. Establishing the first tuition guarantee program in Mississippi, we put our students first 
while creating pathways into the workforce and offering a seamless transition to a four-year degree. Now is the time to find your purpose and register today because those who move forward never get left behind. MCC, find your wings. On behalf of Matt Milner, our executive producer, and Josh Taylor, our media specialist, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Please stay healthy.